If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. As you guys probably remember from last week, there was GTA 6 hype and all this fake news coming out about how it was going to be announced during Take-Two Interactive's stockholder report meeting or whatever, but we got really nothing out of that except for that they're going to make some remasters most likely, a couple mobile ports... And they said, like, every other year before, hey, GTA Online made a ton of money, but they also specifically said that GTA Plus and the next-gen versions of the game were actually received well, which I find very hard to believe, considering if you don't live under a rock and you, you know, go on social media every once in a while, you would know that it was received horribly. Rockstar Intel over on Twitter summarized some of these little articles for us uh, to read today, so... Regarding the topic of GTA and collaborations with real-life brands, the world of GTA is a fictional world, so to bring real-life brands in, they really have to be iconic and they have to fit right in within the world, said uh, the CEO himself, Strauss Zelnick for Take-Two Interactive. I don't think it's the greatest idea to bring in GTA, considering it's a game purely about satire, America, that is just a complete rip-off and just a funny version of it, uh, but I think it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Take-Two Interactive is also the parent company of 2K, which is like the basketball games and stuff, and they have a bunch of real brands coming in, like Nike, Under Armour, and obviously all those massive brands, and they were allowed to put their shoes and clothes and stuff within the game of 2k so i don't think it'd be the most far-fetched thing in the world but i also think that they might have gotten inspired from gtrp you know considering you know, it's very very popular it's what kept gta alive to this day most likely um is rp and a lot of people like to wear the certain clothes from real life on their you know virtual characters for their gta rp characters so i don't think it'd be the worst thing in the world it's something somewhat positive but not also negative to you know start off with but uh the, the, it gets funnier though i'm gonna give you guys two quick little quotes from take two back to back take two say we're thrilled about how gta plus is doing so far and it's clear consumers really like the opportunity to engage with gta online and value what we're offering through a subscription of course through gta plus which is a load of crap and just like every other year before, Take Two say that GTA 5 and GTA Online grew by 8% and 74% since last year. The next gen versions were received well by the community. I don't know if Take Two Interactive or Strauss Zelnick live in a completely other universe or planet or something because. That's not what they were received. They weren't received well almost at all. The graphics were updates were very minimal and all the other consoles and even PC did not get any new content whatsoever. So the small people that did benefit from it had to fork over $10, $20 for some new cars and a fresh coat of paint, which they tried to do with the trilogy and obviously that was really messed up. But, you know, it wasn't the worst thing they've done in the past year, but it also wasn't the greatest. They could have done a lot better. They could have added way more stuff, you know, new map expansion now that the ps5 and the xbox series x can actually handle some of the things and new maps and stuff like that they they failed miserably and to make things even worse a, a week later after releasing it and it wasn't even received too well they go hey um buy our subscription service now gta plus you know it's useless for um you know 95 percent of the community but some of you newbies might want you know an extra 500k thrown at you uh a month and it's six it's only six bucks a month but you know you add that up to 72 dollars a year are they really making 72 dollars worth of content to sell to these players no 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 they are not they're taking old limited time clothing and calling it new and re-releasing it with this gta plus and then it's, it's incredibly disappointing and of course with all things considered today the branding collaborations for real life stuff in gta gta plus and how well the res the next gen versions of the game were received i'd like to know your guys opinions down below i know some people thought they were positive i personally didn't like gta plus the expanded enhanced was 
it could have been way better but you know it was better than nothing they already delayed it what twice so i mean the little i it gave it was okay i guess and of course on playstation 5 if you have playstation plus you got to have it for free so i really didn't miss out or lose anything playing it but if i had to fork over 10 or 20 dollars i don't think i would have done it i think i would have waited and definitely not pre-ordered it and just would have just sat and watched the entire community just you know burst into flames you know in anger Another thing they mentioned, I'm not going to show the tweet, is that the game is still growing. GT Online is still getting a brand new influx of new players all the time. So um, I guess that's a positive thing. Hopefully within the future updates, they'll actually do bigger and better things. Considering they're not updating Red Dead Online anymore, well, what the hell are they working on? Other than remasters of games they've already created or possibly gta 6 i mean but yeah we're still years away from that well with that being said uh let me know what you guys think of everything and uh yeah please remember to drop a like and subscribe thanks again for uh all the support lately we just hit 22,000 subscribers hopefully 25k and 30k will come soon and uh appreciate all the support and i'll see you guys in the next one peace